What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, compare games from tabletop to video games. And if you guys did not hear, we are doing a giveaway as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. So one lucky subscriber will have a chance to win the Master Grade Psycho Zaku Verkai. So if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to like and subscribe so you can participate in the giveaway. Now since we are doing a giveaway of a Verkai, I thought it would be proper if we could do a review of another one and who's better to pick than the bandai's master grade sazabi verkai now this gunpla is a tyrant it is huge comes with tons of accessories and possibility there's so many futures to this gunpla that is just amazing and the build felt very equivalent to a perfect grade i had ton of fun building it and honestly, I recommend anyone to get this model. And honestly, the market price is not even that bad. It's around $200, which is completely worth it. So definitely go and get it. Now we are showing you a few different pictures of it because mine is in fact custom painted. So at least these are the proper color schemes to expect when purchasing this model. But I do have to say it does have one issue. So a lot of the large pieces are attached to very small and fragile joints so there is possibility of breakage but that is the only issue i have with this model besides that it is in fact perfect so with that being said let's get to the review and here is the master grade sazabi verkai as you can see there's tons of different accessories so first off you do get the led light over here which is green and it is very adaptable for other Gunpla as well. You also get a piloted shore over here. And let's get a closer look at all the weapons. We have his first gun. Now, both guns is adaptable with the Psycho Zaku. And you can attach it to other guns as well. It extends. This could live up to. So definitely cool features. Now for the second one, we have over here. Now, definitely the paint is a bit tight, so this doesn't slide. Okay, this does actually move for gun futures with the cycle. Okay, now let's get into the blades. We have his axe that has tons and different futures. So first off, why won't my camera focus? There we go. Okay, so first off, all the lasers definitely attached to it. So one of the best forms for this is actually to put both back to back you could definitely do that and for the gap if you like hold on let me slide it properly you could actually put it in and you could actually do just so many things with it however you like whatever weapon you want and also it could actually turn into double sided so you have to unpeg most of them do it like this you could rotate it and then we could put this in just like that. Maybe I should put much more proper. There we go. And then you do the same for this one. Just put both of them in. And there we go. Double sided. Or you could actually disconnect it and do two. Now let's do the shield. This shield just looks amazing, everything about it. Maybe it's because of my paint job, but there was actually a lot of futures that you could do. So you could actually potentially put it on his forearm if you like, or you could actually put it on his shoulder as well. So it actually hangs onto the side. So definitely a lot of cool things to know, but also it has some Special features with the actual blade. So if we actually go over here and we plug it this back in just like this and fix that just like that. Perfect. Take these out. This actually becomes storage. So you lift this up, you put it like this, and then you close it. And that is storage. Now, what I really would like to do, or what I usually do all the time for display purposes, I actually take these and put it in. It's a bit better to actually do it when he's not stored. So 
let's just do this real fast. So you take these, put both in, just like that. And this is optional. It's not really recommended, but I think it looks nice for displays. So then you close this. Okay. So you have the blade like this, showing laser. If you want to add a little bit to it, you could definitely put it both like this and just light it in just like that. And there you go. So you have a very cool looking laser shield. So I usually display him with the shield like this. Now let's look at other accessories that's on him. So the lightsabers are actually jammed into the forearm because I wasn't really waiting for the paint to dry when I put it in. So if I want to actually take it out, I have to dismantle the forearm and then to do so. But anyways, when I display them, I usually put it in. So it's very much like an Assassin's Creed vibe. Now let's get into the jetpack. Now the jetpack does have a few little possibilities, but one key thing is definitely here. So what you're going to do here is quite simple. You're going to lift the sides like this. So up like this, and then it opens up. Now these little guys are really cool because you could actually take these and they actually open up just like this. And there you go. And you could even lift it. Here you go. So pretty cool. And all of them actually does that. So if you get any extra stands for posability or anything like that, you could actually have them all flying around him, which is still pretty cool. I know you could find some adapters to make those kind of poses, but really, really cool. Now I think it's about time we take a look at the actual model. Now this guy just looks sick. I do highly recommend anyone to purchase him. He's just awesome. There's a lot of features and everything with him. So we're going to get to that in just a moment if my camera wants to focus. Thank you. So very cool. So definitely a very cool model. So. If you look at the legs too, very nice. Everything about him is just perfect. I just love it. Now you're probably wondering about articulation. So articulation, the heads can definitely move side to side. So pretty cool. Arms definitely could rotate. They could actually go outwards by a lot too. So you could definitely put it outwards. Now, one thing that's cool now, besides for the bicep, you have these bars that stick out more when you move the bicep, but believe it or not, he has full articulations on the fingers. So they could actually open, close, however you want, singly, do whatever you like, even the thumb too. So definitely very cool if you want Put him in a hand gesture, however you like, you definitely can. Okay. Now what we have over here is the waist, definitely can move side to side. I did forget one future. So I'm going to get into the extra features that each plate can do, especially with the shoulders. It does a lot. So we could definitely get into that a bit later. We're just going to show the basic articulation. So. So we definitely have to lift everything. So you could actually move the legs forward however you like. So definitely is a cool future if you want to do so. So definitely could kick. Very nice. Can do a knee bend. I'm not too crazy about this piece though, that it rotates like that, but you could do it. It's okay. Then for, there's a lot of articulation for the toes as well. Definitely could go side to side plates can move but i'm going to do that for the transformation so for posability there is definitely a lot for him now i do still prefer him on a stand and i still display him in a stand so it's not really an issue for that because he is a very heavy guy so definitely bringing him on a stand is definitely worth it 
So let's get into the plates transformations. So showing off, we can see that the shoulders could transform, extend. There's more little jets at the bottom pointing out. Now for here, you could just split it open like this. And there you go. Very nice. The front skirt just extends like this. The side skirts actually extends just like this. Lift it up. Then this comes more out just like this. The back skirt actually opens here. Let me kind of hard to do it just because of some of the paints, but yeah, it opens just like this. Very nice. Looks pretty good. The leg, there are a lot of steps to do. So definitely we could lift this plate shows more cannons. We could do it on the other side too. So definitely. There we go, we're lifting more, very nice. Okay, and then lastly, it's always this part that gives me a little bit of a problem, but we're going to have to see if we could do it. There we go, that is going to show more cannons, so we could definitely lift that up. And then for the front piece, it's quite, you extend it, and then you lift up, and that shows another cannon, and this is how the leg looks with everything all out. Now I have to say he looks badass. And honestly, I know it looks like he might be a little bit taller, but no, it actually doesn't really change the height. It's not like the Unicorn Gundam, but it definitely looks a lot cooler. But speaking about height, let's do a size comparison. Here he is with the hobby grade Reborn Gundam. Now let me tell you, there is such a massive size difference compared to the Sazabi Verkai and a hobby grade because this is actually considered a taller hobby grade because it's a Gundam on heels but you could clearly see there is quite a bit of a size difference now for a master grade here is the master grade unicorn Gundam 02 Banshee and even in his destruction mode he is still smaller than the Zazabi Clearly, this guy is huge. Now, let's see compared to a perfect grade. And here he is next to the perfect grade Strike Freedom. So, he's not as big as a perfect grade, but he is a pretty big master grade model. So, if you were thinking about getting this Gunpla, I highly recommend it because this guy just looks amazing. <laughs> And that's it for our Master Great Sazabi Verkai. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want to participate to our giveaways, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Or if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review on this channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.